Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about marginal productivity theory of distribution. This theory mainly explains how we can decide price for factor of production. Or we can say that this theory mainly explains how we can distribute national income among rent, wages, profit and interest. There are three main concepts of this theory, marginal physical product or we can say the MPP. Value of marginal product or we can say the VMP. Marginal revenue product or MRP. Marginal physical product mainly tell us how much total product increase when we add one more unit of factor of production. For example, 5 unit of factor of production is giving output equal to 100. When we add one more unit, our output increase from 100 to 130. Difference between 130 and 100 will be called 30. This 30 will be called marginal physical product. And we can calculate VMP when we multiply price with the marginal physical product. And we can calculate MRP when we multiply marginal revenue with marginal physical product. And this theory work under perfect competition. That's why in this theory we assume VMP is equal to MRP. Now we understand this theory with the help of this table. First column we have labor, second column we have total product, third column we have marginal physical product. Marginal physical product mainly tell us how much total product increase when we add one more unit of factor. One unit of factor is giving output equal to 10, but when we add one more, our output increase from 10 to 16. Difference between 16 and 10 is equal to 6. The 6 will be called marginal physical product. When we add one more unit of factor of product, our output increase from 16 to 21. Difference between 21 and 16 is equal to 5. This 5 will be called our marginal physical product. Similar, we can calculate for other unit. Next column, we have VMP and MR. In this theory, we assume VMP is equal to MRP and we can calculate VMP when we multiply price with marginal physical product. This is our marginal physical product. In this theory, we assume our price is equal to 5. When we multiply 6 with 5, it will become equal to 30. This 30 will be called our VMP. And in this theory, we assume VMP is equal to MRP. When we multiply 5 with 5, it, it will become equal to 25. This 25 will be called our VMP. Similar, we can calculate for other unit. Last column, we have wage rate. According to this theory, a firm will hire labor till the point where VMP of labor become equal to their wage rate. According to this theory, firm will hire labor till the point where VMP of labor become equal to their wage rate. At 4 unit of labor, you can see VMP of labor is equal to their wage rate. That's why firm will hire only 4 unit of labor because it will give the maximum output. Before this, you can see VMP is more than labor. And below this, you can see VMP is less than wages. So, firm will hire 4 unit of labor. It will give the maximum output or we can say the maximum profit. Now, we will see diagram. On x-axis, we have labor. Y-axis, we have VMP, MRP and wages. WW horizontal line represent our wages. AW means average wages. MW means marginal wages. This curve represent our VMP and in this theory we assume VMP is equal to MRP. Firm will hire ON amount of labor because ON amount of labor will give the maximum profit. Because at this ON amount of labor at this E point you can see VMP of labor is equal to the wage rate. So E will be called maximum profit point. That's why firm will hire only ON amount of labor because at ON amount of labor wage rate of labor is equal to their VMP. Above E point, you can see VMP is more than wages and below E point, you can see VMP is less than wages. So, E is maximum profit point. This is all about marginal productivity theory of distribution. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, take care.